So the big tax question is this, how do wealthy people keep their money working for them when selling their business, real estate, or other highly appreciated assets without paying hundreds of thousands to millions of dollars in tax? What if we as business and real estate owners who have poured blood, sweat, and tears to growing our wealth and who didn't hire expensive tax attorneys and CPAs to map out an exit strategy knew their secrets? Instead of recreating the wheel, why can't we just model the way they deferred 30 to 50% in tax, paid off debt, funded their next business dream, and most importantly, leave a financial legacy to give to the causes we believe in most? What if their secrets weren't complicated at all? And you just need a guide who is a few steps ahead of you. That is the question, and this podcast will give you the answers. My name is Brett Swartz, and welcome to Capital Gains Tax Solutions. Welcome to the Capital Gains Tax Solutions podcast, where we believe most high net worth individuals and those who help them struggle with clarifying their capital gains tax deferral options. Not having a clear plan is the enemy, and using a proven tax deferral strategy is the best way for you to grow your wealth. Hey, I'm your host, Brett Swartz. In each episode, I'm joined by some of the best financial independence and passive income wealth advisors in the world, where they share their ideas, deal stories, and inspiration, so together we can make complex tax deferral strategies simple and passive income plans achievable. Hey, my next two guests are... um, are wealth uh, without Wall Street experts. In fact, uh, they have an extensive background. And what I like about them is they have a heart of educating and being the guide for their clients and looking for alternative ways to build passive income through maybe uh, things that aren't as traditional that we've been taught. So I want to welcome Russ Morgan to the show and Joey Murray. Hey, Russ Morgan, how are you guys doing? I'm great. Thank you so much, Brad, for having us. Excellent. Hey, would you give our listeners maybe a quick um, overview of your background and your current focus? Yeah, so for me, um, my name is Russ Morgan. I I have a background actually comes from a a typical financial planning uh, field. I like to refer to myself as a recovering certified financial planner. I say that because there's a lot of things that I thought I learned about how the financial markets and how planning uh, should be uh, that I realized in 2008, 2009, that a lot of what I learned was really bad information or partial information that wasn't really helping my clients get wealthy. And so since uh, 2009, I have built a practice around helping people find um, alternative ways to the stock market that allow them to invest in themselves first, because I believe that they are their greatest asset and using tools um, which are proven uh, going back to you know the start of time uh, to help them grow uh, passive income streams and do it in the most tax advantage way possible. Love it. And how about you, Joey? Yeah, so I uh, actually was one of Russ's clients early on in 2009 and got so excited. I was in the mortgage business for 11 years and rode the roller coaster of commission-based income. So if anybody's out there and they they had the same issue that I had was never knew what I was going to make from month to month. I was on the hamster wheel, but I knew that I wanted to start building wealth and just didn't feel really comfortable with uh, the the Wall Street uh, roller coaster as well. And so met Russ, started to implement some of the very same strategies we talk about today. And uh, over four years, had a dramatic change to my financial future with my family as a result. I said, man, there's just something about this. I, there's not enough people that know about this. So I need to, I need to get out there and start talking about it. And uh, Russ said, man, you're crazy. Why would you leave a job, you know, making well over $300,000 to start from zero? And, uh, but I said, man, I'm just passionate about this and I want to make a difference and have an impact. And uh, so we joined up in 2014 and haven't looked back since. And we've grown tremendously because there's many, many more people out there like me looking for financial freedom, not when they're 65, but today and, uh, and encouraging and, and having time with their family and living life, not deferring it. Absolutely. And so that leads into our, our question for the day. Um, what's the number one most frustrating thing about a tax deferral strategy you've used or a partner has used in the past? Well, I'll tell you that my personal experience was once I realized that, that what I was doing in the traditional world of 401k was I was literally gambling every day in something I didn't understand. And I was hoping that one day it would be enough that I might have something to live off of 
and it would be passive in nature at some date in the future. Once I understood that not only was I deferring life because I was saying, well, I'll just eventually get there. I was also deferring what the, the government was going to tell me I could keep. And that just didn't work out for me. That just wasn't a deal that I wanted to continue to do. And so I decided to take, uh, you know, take back control of my finances today and pick a path that would lead to passive income much, much faster without those tax burdens. Excellent. How about, how about you, Russ? Well, I think I, I would agree with what he said. So to give something different, um, <laughs> I would, my wife had a dental practice for about 10 years and we, we, we benefited, I guess, on the front end of a lot of the, the tax benefits through the depreciation that were, you know, when we bought all the equipment and other things. But when we did all of that at the very beginning, I was new in my financial career for the most part. This is, we started the business in the end of 2008. I was in the financial industry, started in 2004. So, you know, anything about financial advisors, they don't make any money for five years. If they're still in the business after five years, they're probably worth their salt. Uh, or at least they, they're, um, you know, one of those that just can't take no for an answer. And so I, I, we, we start her practice and we buy all this equipment, you know, half a million dollars in debt or more to get her practice off the ground. We get all this great depreciation and all these sort of uh, uh, tax benefits on the front end. But when you're not making much money, the tax benefits really don't benefit you early on. And it wasn't until we sold her practice at the end of 2000 or in the middle of 2019 and all that t- uh, depreciation recapture came back. And we had that come to us. And of course, now at a you know, much higher bracket, I felt the pain of that deferral strategy that existed with that. And I thought, man, there's got to be a better way. Yeah. And uh, that is certainly, uh, we'd certainly resonate with that, you know, with, with, with what we do, we help dentists, veterinarians, optometrists, and thousands of closes. And we want to dive into more of that on our interview. That's going to come up. It's going to be released. This is just a teaser for everybody. So that being said, uh, Russ and Joey, where can everyone find you if they want to contact you right now? Yeah, I'd lead you to wealthwithoutwallstreet.com. We have a community of like-minded entrepreneurs who are trying to find better ways to break free of the Wall Street mindset to create true financial freedom. You'll find our podcast there. You'll find access to our free um, 2,000 person community. And you also get um, to see a little about us and, and what we're up to. Awesome. Thank you guys so much. And with that, I want to thank everyone for listening to another episode of the Capital Gains Tax Solutions Podcast, where we believe most high net worth individuals and those who help them struggle with clarifying their capital gains tax referral options, not having a clear plan is the enemy and using a proven tax referral strategy, such as the deferred sales trust is the best way for you to grow your wealth. Hey, thanks so much. Look for the next episode to drop soon. And please share this with somebody who can find some inspiration and some clarity. Thanks so much. You have just listened to another information-packed episode of Capital Gains Tax Solutions with Brett Swartz. We hope you enjoyed today's show and found it helpful. Visit CapitalGainsTaxSolutions.com to access the show notes and to access more resources. Don't forget to leave a review and join us again next time.